Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be looking into Drive Wizard Industrial, Yaskava Drive Wizard Industrial is the software uh, produced by Yaskava to program and control or monitor or whatever, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, the inverter drives via a laptop or computer. This software is for free from Yaskava and I'll be talking to you, talking, talking through to you how to get it, what you need to do to get it and there's going to be a link in the description below for it so definitely click on that one, it will take you straight to it and it's just going to talk you through what you need to do. So any the, any manuals that they come with the, this software I'll be sure to leave them in description below so uh, without further ado let's get started. There we go, now that we are in front of computer, the first thing we need to do is click a link in the description below where it would say Drive uh, Visit Industrial or whatever it was, was, was it called and it would take you to this uh, page is uh, where you are able to see as you see down here it says request online uh, form once you do that, just go just want to collect a little bit of data who is using their software, just give them what they need I just fill out small form. It's not a registration. It's just uh, where they can send you a valid link to download the software. And once you've done that, as soon as you click that, uh, you will receive the email from Yaskava, and they will take you straight to the download. Well, as soon as you click the link, you will download it, and you will get a package like this. And in there is sort of is a setup. Software and so basically pretty much I'm not going to go through how to install. It's just a quite straightforward thing and From there then then you have a, a window like a, that and this is pretty much drive wizard industrial So let's dive in as you can see in the screen in a corner below my uh, a USB cable is already connected to the drive and it, this software is really cool for really really doing some monitoring and testing It's, it's something that you, if you are using your scout drives definitely definitely get one so it takes a bit of time to start up and in here uh, opens up window like uh, so the first thing you need to do is uh, there's a couple of ways to do it we are going to be opening a new project and we're going to call it ga 500 whatever for the start and then you can edit your uh, username or information whatever you want to do i'm not going to do that because we don't need that it's for testing only and then there you need to uh, select this uh, which family, which is GA500. And in here, you can see this one, uh, CIPR. Have a look at your part number right on the side. There's going to be GA50. There's be a couple of numbers there. And there's going to be B00 or whatever that number in here is. Select my one. It's 0.4 kilowatt, which stands at B002. So be sure to select that. And once you've done that, do the test. Oh, happy dappy. And then in here, connect to the driver and go online. And here we go, it is happy. And we are almost fully connected. And here we go. From here on, so you can start really do what you really want to do. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, view and edit drive parameters. Why not? Let's start with that one. And here we go, it opens up the whole of the parameter groups that is inside the drive. And if you see down here, it says modify parameters, click on that. It's going to show you what's being modified in the drive from default settings and that's what you can see in here so and in the other you can go and set up all and i mean all anything you wish to do that here we go even i was talking to d references here we go you can set up and once you want to change something uh, you just go in there select let's say 45 and uh, then a right say a right to the drive close and here we go as you can see that up value appears and it is straight into your drive then you can actually export all the parameters in a pdf however you wish and you can even email to somebody that's cool i like it but that's just to just to get your drive uh, going there's a lot more as you can see up here so the next one, this is like in a home edition of Project Info, drive selection, which already done that, rewrite, print, and welcome menu, parameters, operation, application, visit, we're going to get that in a minute. And in the edit uh, section, it's pretty much 
what you see in here, which is a bit extra. What I do like about this, there's a tools, network configuration, and uh, conversion projects and application visit. We're gonna get to that application visit in a minute. But this one in here, a startup and a diagnostics. In here, you can do some pretty good, cool monitoring. Say so what you want to monitor. So I like, uh, there's like trends. As so you can monitor change, you can say what you want to monitor. This like you really want to see how the if you dry how the drive is performing. Maybe you have problems and things like that. You can monitor how the output current is working, and there's a whole load of what you want to monitor. And you, you can monitor all sorts of forms how they work with each other. You can all select the signals in here, and uh, we're not going to really, it's not. I got not much to show for this one, so I'm going to actually jump on something different. Then there's obviously the trace. You can actually do the tracing. And the one I really enjoy is monitor panel. It's really cool. So you can sort of select what you want. As you can see, I've been playing around as well a little bit. What you can select and what you can do. So uh, one thing you can do is, well, you can open up the drive. So it tells you, uh, do accept, blah, blah, blah. This is, gonna, this is where you are able to control the drive. And by clicking around forward, as you can see, my motor is spinning. And I can select in here what I want to uh, monitor. Yeah, I even can select scales and types and things like that. So, and as soon as you click start, come on, it takes him as you can see down there. Please wait, scanning drive. Here we go. And now, as you can see, he is reading all the information. I don't know why, it just went into reverse. Let's go back into forward. Not sure what that is all. And then you can see, you even see. What is going on in the drive from some form of dials if by any chance you want to monitor and then you can export email you can print if you wish and demo it and really cool it's just this is the software is something that you would definitely want to have if you are a yaskawa man so using yaskawa drives there's there's uh the one thing is quite interesting they don't have uh, yeah, yeah, this is just the basic set. If, if you go on application visit, this is where you pretty much set up your drive. And a start is pretty much going to tell you how to initialize the drive. From there on, you can initialize. Here we go. It's basically default the, the, the things and things like that. This is pretty much when to start up. We're not going to do that because our drive's already been initialized and things like that. So this is where you can really start. And that is really, it's just, it's just, uh, and then you obviously can, if you, once you've done your, set up your drive, by the way, this uh, drive don't have to be powered up for you to uh, program it. So it can be a uh, unprogram uh, unplugged, as soon as you plug in the uh, USB, USB supply sufficient enough power to drive the mem uh, whatever the processing part of the drive in there and now uh, you are able to do everything offline even don't even take the drive out of the box you just get to the usb and then you obviously can click save as and then you can blah blah, blah save what you want and then you can save this for later for if you have a lot of yes guy drives in your factory i definitely strongly advise you to do that so this is which way you can back it up and this software is in, in here this industrial uh what is it called again uh, yes, uh, industrial wizard, uh, drive industrial wizard industrial. That's the one. That's what it's called. Uh, it's, it does not. Uh, it's not only for a GA five hundred. It's for for the older versions as well. So definitely uh, check them out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a uh, Yaskawa uh, drive wizard industrial software. Really cool software. It's something you definitely want to go. It's so much easier to set up any parameters. If you say. Um, Double clicking on it, but I won't show you in a minute. If you go on the H in here, you can set up what you want to a uh, change. Let's say if you want to change S1 function selection, just click on it, and the whole list of everything is in there. The only thing is, which is kind of I wish they would could add. If you want to read up on it, at least I can't find it. So uh, like, uh, if you click the help page, it does open the manual, but it sort of tells you what is what. Or what you see on the actual window so it doesn't really explain you what that uh, parameter is you can sort of uh, read up on a maintenance wizard and there's there is a manual but it's not the manual for the drives i believe there could be some form of addition you need for it but i don't know so that ladies and gentlemen is yes cover drive wizard industrial something that you definitely should have if you're using a uh yes drives so 
on that ladies and gentlemen let's do one more mold test with the big screen i love this this is really cool okay and forward and it was reversed why not i don't know that's just playing around other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching if you like the video please smash that like and if you didn't smash smash this like comment below what you like what you don't like and if you have any questions regarding this i don't think there should be much but it is a something again you should have and uh if you like the video smash that like and dislike subscribe because there we got a ton of all this kind of stuff coming up so uh and uh yeah so we'll be checking out all sorts of things and so uh other than that ladies and gentlemen again thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video